Yeah. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the second part of the Tuesday Facebook Live Supercell right here at Maddox Games and Comics. Now at a new location at 205 North Hill Street in London, Kentucky. Uh, the store itself is still open. If you've not been a chance to come in and check it out, you've got a few more minutes before we close up to uh, come in, check out the layout of everything, grab something you need. Uh, also, of course, this is the second part of the live sale. I've got a lot of things up on the board. These were some stuff that I put up on the board before we closed out the last show. And I'll probably go over those again. These are some slabs and stuff that uh, we've been uh, moving through. Some of these are marked down. Some of these are brand new. And uh, we're going to show these off. First, though, I'm going to get on here and I'm going to share this feed out. Not on that thing because it doesn't even have it on there. I'll do it on my phone. There we go. And I'm going to share it out on my phone, share the feed out to the world, because let's face it, every time you share it, well, you get more eyeballs on the feed. And why it really helps you is that once we get 40 unique viewers on the feed, we are going to give away a $25 Starbucks gift card. That's right, $25 Starbucks gift card. And uh, don't have to like comics. Don't have to like comics. Who even cares? Just share it out. The more you share it, there you go. Yeah, we're going to make a big announcement closer to the uh, end of the second part of the cell. Mm -mm, I'm going to share this feed out. Mm -mm. Here we are. I'm sharing it on my page. Boom. Done and done. I just shared it out there. Now I'm going to uh, pop this up. And later tonight, as you guys stay tuned, we are going to make a special announcement, special announcement about Dark Knight Metal uh, from DC. So, uh, hey, Philip, how are you, man? All right, I'm going to go around and talk about what's on the board. We got lots of slab stuff up there now. Talk about those real quick. Give them a couple seconds as we populate up the feed. Give everybody a chance to grab something awesome. And then we'll go into putting out some comics. In the close-up window, that is Wolverine issue number three, volume three. It is from 2003, and uh, it is $275. Why is it $275? Well, folks, it is signed by none other than Stan the Manly right there. It is the Stanley signature. It is a CGC signature series slab. It is a 9.4 issue of Wolverine, $275 for this right here. Not only that, but this also has the ce the Celebrity Authentics Signature Edition. It also has its own separate certificate of authenticity. That is $275 for that Wolverine. This is Peter Panzerfaust, issue number six. This is a 9.6 issue of Peter Panzerfaust from Image Comics. It is signed by creator Curtis Weeb. It is 69 bucks. You can claim this right now for $69 for this signature series CGC book. Look at this. Not a CGC, but a cheap price nonetheless. This is the Walking Dead 100, the very first appearance of Negan, the first appearance of Lucille, the very last appearance of Glenn Alive. $12 near mint condition for this issue of The Walking Dead, this variant cover. I've got one of these left for $12, and here it is right here. Normally, it's a $25 comic. We have sold some on discount in the past whenever we're moving stores, but that's the last one of those I'm going to have at $12, so you're going to want to claim it. This is Uncanny X-Men 184. It is a 9.6 CGC. Look at that cover with, with Professor X in his astral form. It is $78. It is the first appearance of the X-Men Forge. It's a 9.6 issue 184 for 78 bucks. What? Yeah, the Walking Dead for Kathy. Kathy got the Walking Dead for $12. Thank you, Kathy. This is a 9.4 CGC Superman 379. Look at that awesome cover there. Oh, that is bizarre. He's super happy about getting knocked on his head. This is 70 bucks. It is a uh, the first appearance of Bizarro Hawkman, Bizarro Yellow Lantern, and Bizarro Aquaman. 
It also has Bizarro number one and Batman Bizarro all in this 9.4 Superman for only $70. Next to it, we've got the Ultimate Spider-Man issue number three. That is 9.6 issue three of Ultimate Spider-Man. It's only 49 bucks. That's right, less than $50 for issue three of Ultimate Spider-Man, which is practically worth 50 bucks on its own ungraded. Take advantage of that deal right now. Next to it, we've got a 9.0 CGC. This is the Walking Dead Survivor's Guide, number one, A to C, for only $69. The cool thing about this one for CGC, it has the wraparound cover so you can see the back. You can see the walkers there all together. $69 bucks for that Walking Dead. Uh, yes, the Bizarro Yellow Lantern is a good guy. It's just he's the opposite of green, so he's yellow. Basically, because it was before the Sinestro Core War and all that. And so, like, Sinestro was the only yellow ring deal. So, he wasn't technically a yellow lantern, I guess. I don't know. I'm not sure what the workaround is there. But, uh, yeah, he's a good guy. Well, as much as any Bizarro is a good guy. They're usually just kind of mischievous idiots. So, I think it's kind of the same. This is the Amazing Spider-Man issue 43. It's very good plus. It is a 4.5 PGX. It's a 12 cent Silver Age book. It is Rhino on the Rampage. It is $170. This features the origin of the Rhino and the very first full appearance of Mary Jane Watson. You can get that Amazing Spider-Man 43 for your collection for only $170. Next to it, up top here, 9.4, Uncanny X-Men 185. There is Rogue. She's taking out Storm. She's got her powers. Lightning's going crazy in the background. John Romita Jr. cover. It's only $55 for that CGC X-Men. And last but not least, this is the marked down. This is the lowest price I'm going to put on this tonight. This is $110 for Batman issue 357. This is the first appearance of Jason Todd and the first Killer Croc all together. Double key issue right here for $110. So you got a couple minutes to uh, sit there and look at those while I work my way back around here. Get some comics ready to put out for you guys. Uh, yeah, Kevin asked for graphics quite a bit. He's really into graphic novels. Sadly, I don't really have any – I don't have any discounted graphic novels available currently um, – around at this time sadly but if i see any i'll be sure to put them up or if i'm uh in here brought to my attention i'll gladly put some up uh for a cheaper price for you but yeah that night where i had those out for uh, about half price that was leftover stock stuff from the previous store so like it was uh kind of a fluke a fluke day on that some very sweet books dennis very sweet books that is an awesome spider-man issue andre um, or Edry? Edre? I don't know how to say your first name. I'm sorry, man. All right, got some locks and shares going, all kinds of stuff. We're up to 28 viewers. We got to get up to 40. We get up to 40. We're going to give away a $25 Starbucks gift card right here on the sale. I got an empty spot right here. I'm going to fill that up. Let's see what we got. For fans of uh, Wonder Woman and The Punisher, oddly enough, this is a book for you. This is Bullets and Bracelets number one. This is an amalgam book, which is a mix of Marvel and DC together. Bullets and Bracelets, Castle and Diana together again. That is $4 for that issue. Condition of the Batman. Condition of the Batman. Um, uh, this is a fine plus condition on this. It is uh, spot on. There's very little no damage. Uh, this is definitely a grade worthy copy of this. This is one that we actually did sell for about 20 bucks higher to someone. They just never... Uh, they never end up paying for it. So we put it back out, ended up marking it down for you guys, 20 bucks to 110 It's the lowest I can go on this thing. It is a very big key issue. Chances are we'll send off to get it graded ourselves if it doesn't sell. 110 for the first Jason Todd and first Killer Croc.
here, here's my question. I'm not come up with a good one, but it's interesting. What what is it? Old Man Logan one through six, and what else? Old Man Logan chapter six, verse eleven. Okay, that would just be for you. Just okay. Okay, cool. Uh, well, I like to find out. That's the one thing about this new thing is, even though we're in the same store, we're separated by a tunnel through time. So like, it's tough to get people's attention to get them to do anything. We need like a button to push, then it beeps out there. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna send McKaylee out to to tell them what we're after, and uh, Darian or somebody can help hunt for those. The old man Logan graph column three up through six. If you can't find them all too quick, just bring which ones you can, and we'll go from there. All right, so we got that up for four dollars. Um, not on me, Kathy. Not on me that I'm to my knowledge. I mean, I say that, and then I'll end up finding it immediately, but. As far as I know, I do not. But I'll see what I can do. All right, this is from the New 52. This is Catwoman, issue number 22 for $3. I'm going to pull down the uh, Peter Panzerfaust. We're going to put out the Catwoman for 3 Also, I talking about Yellow Lanterns a moment ago. This is Sinestro, Sinestro issue 23, Fear the Might. And there's Sinestro tossing out rings. He's creating a new Sinestro core. $3 for Sinestro issue 23. We'll take down this Uncanny X-Men for 78 Uh, Not to my knowledge, not yet. I sent someone to get those for me, and they never brought me any back. And I don't know if they just forgot what they were doing while they were looking or what. But, um, yeah, I apparently have nothing anybody wants from me. <laughs> um, I'll see about getting some of those back here. I thought I had them on the way originally, and nobody brought me any. I used to have a box of those things. But I will see about getting some back here for you. I'm going to take down the Superman 9.4 for 70. This is Chamber of Chills, issue number three for Marvel Comics. It is a 20 cent cover. Dear Lord, he's dead, but what killed him? I, I don't know, but I heard him screaming something about the thing on the roof. It's got tentacles. It's five bucks. You can find out about it yourself. Keep yourself safe when you're in an apartment building in the 60s. Uh, this Marvel Ultimate Spider-Man number three for 49 shouldn't even be here. But I'm going to put it back because it's not getting bought. Mm, let's see. What I'm going to put in its place. This is Constantine the Hellblazer, issue number 211. It's going to be $4. Constantine the Hellblazer, issue 211 for 4 bucks. Sold one of these earlier. I'm going to put another one out right now. I had two of these, and they are pretty cool. I'm going to sell it for $7. This is Venom issue number six. It's an early 2000 series, and that is a black and kind of purple chrome cover. Uh, and there's the full body of Venom there with a cool symbol behind him. Uh, Venom issue six for $7. Take down this uh, Walking Dead here. Put that out for seven. This is an awesome issue of Action Comics. This is Action Comics number 890, and this is the Orange Lantern Luther on the front. That is $6. Very fine plus veneer mint on that one. Uh, 
This is Untold Tales of Spider-Man, issue number 13. Untold Tales of Spider-Man, issue 13. There he is, in front of a grave. It's $3. $3 for that one. I'm going to take down this uh, amazing Spider-Man, number 43 for 170 All right. Edry gets the Venom for seven. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sure I'm butchering your name. This is an issue of Cable. We got Cable issue number. Well, it's annual. Annual Cable from 99. Cable's pretty hot right now. Things are happening. Things are going along with Josh Brolin in the guise of Cable. Ed, that works, man. That probably works the best. <laughs> this is Cable. Annual 99 with the darkest times looming. Cable confronts the evil of Sinister. That is four dollars. I'm gonna take this down. This is the Uncanny X Men issue number 185 for 55 dollars. We can put that away. This is from Crusade Comics, who I believe did, uh, what is it, did she? I can't remember exactly. But this is Demon Gun, Demon Gun Issue 3. That is going to be $3. $3 for Demon Gun. Let me put that out right there. This for $110. First appearance of Jason Todd. This is also the first Killer Croc. That is $110. All right. All right. Here we go. This is Old Man Logan, Volume Zero. I can't really mark this down a whole lot, so I can only mark it down a couple bucks. $16 for the Old Man Logan, Volume Zero. Brand new, never read condition. Straight off the shelves from the new store. Got a bunch of stuff on the board right now. I'm going to go around. Logan for 16 to Kevin. Thank you, Kevin. This is... Uh, she, McKaylee went to go see if she could find the others. The zero is the only one she located originally, but I think we got a few more at least. We may not have them all six or all seven of them all together, but I'm sure we're going to have some. So we're going to, we're going to check out and see what else we can get for you there. Uh, this is Evil Ernie Revenge, issue number four. This is going to be five dollars. Evil Ernie Revenge issue four for five bucks, and there is Evil Ernie, blood's dripping off his arms, Lady Death hanging out in the background. That is five bucks. And again, we do have a big announcement coming up towards the end of the sale. We're going to give you a big announcement about the upcoming uh, DC Dark Knight Metal, and it's going to be a good one. Looks like you guys are going to get excited. But I don't want you too excited right now, so we're just gonna keep it at a at a at a, at a simmer as we uh, as we sell some books. All right. See what we got here. 17, 16, 16. And we went. Hmm. 
All right, here you go. Um, I'll knock a few bucks off of these. This is Old Man Logan, Volume 1, 2, and 3. Volume 1, 2, and 3 of Old Man Logan for $45. $45 for those. If you're interested in those, Kevin, feel free to uh, bring them up. Hey, hey, we like that, Philip. My phone does that too sometimes. I don't know if it's just not loading it fast enough. I don't know. Lower 45 to Kevin. Thank you, Kevin. Is there anything else you're looking for besides the old man Logan? Because that's about the only ones we could find currently. Uh, if you're seeing any other Marvel uh, trades in particular, let me know, and I'll see what we can uh, we can come up with. All right, let's see what we got here. This for four dollars. This is the Bullets and Bracelets Amalgam comic for four bucks. I'm just gonna take that down. We had a request for Amalgam earlier in the day, and like ten minutes later, Darian brought me a stack, and then we've not sold any. This is the Punisher number sixty. It's the Punisher plus Cage, and uh, for whatever reason, these guys are doing target practice on costumes, but they actually put the chain belt and the boots on the costume for Power Man. I don't. Uh, they're they're really into their work. Uh, it's three dollars for the Punisher plus Cage issue at number sixty. That is three dollars. For Batman fans, this is issue six hundred and nine of Detective Comics. And that is Batman and Anarchy right there. And uh, there's all the people of Gotham going up against the police. Well, familiar scenes, people. Detective Comics, 609 for $3. I'm going to take down the Catwoman for 3 We're going to put that out for 3 All right, let me know what kind of stuff you guys are looking for in the feed. Um, mostly character-wise, I can kind of hook you up. As far as super specific single-issue books, it's hit or miss. I don't have access to a whole lot of stuff right now. We're still getting everything moved in here, and there's still some growing pains involved. Let me see the Punisher and Wonder. Yeah, uh, I got, actually, I got it right here. 80s to 90s stuff. All right, Kevin, I may, I may go see what we got. Any particular stuff you're into more than others, like X-Men or Avengers, or just let me know kind of like what area of the Marvel Universe you're more into. I think probably X-Men. But um, let me know for sure, and I'll see what I can find. Doctor Doom, yeah, yeah, yeah. I had requested Doctor Doom earlier. I've not seen anything with Doctor Doom in it yet. Uh, but if I come across some stuff, I'm going to be putting it up for you for sure. Uh, this is the Bullets and Bracelets number one issue. It is the Amalgam crossover with Marvel and DC. Um, Castle and Diana together again. It is $4. $4 for that if you'd like to claim it. Just put the, uh, the name of the item and the price. This is a two DC comic lot. Two DC comics for only three dollars. I'm gonna take down this book. It's Sinestra, which is DC by itself. Here are two DC books, blind for three bucks. Take a chance, gamble a little. Good times. X Men, Wolverine, Spider Man, Batman. Okay, I can do that. All right, there we go. All right, thank you, Philip. I'm going to get that put up for you. All right. Let's put some more stuff up here. We've got Ghost coming up here from Dark Horse Comics. This is Ghost issue number six. This is $3. Well, thank you, Philip. Thank you for buying it. We appreciate that. Ghost, issue six, 
for three bucks. I'm going to take down the uh, Constantine Hellblazer for four. We're going to put out the Ghost for three. What do we got out here for six? Six bucks at Action Comics. This is a $4 Constantine. You know what I'm going to do? Let's just do this. You can get the Constantine and the Action Comics together, both books, for $6. Two books for six bucks right here. Two good DC books for six dollars. Uh, we're not adding a midnight release, Michael. Our store's not going to be open at midnight. Untold Tales of Spider-Man, issue number 13 for $3. dollars going to take that down right now. All right. I'm going to let uh I'm going to let Tosh get up here. And go around and uh, go around on the board, put some stuff up, and uh, I'm gonna go try to find some of those graphic novels and uh, see what we can find. Um, basically, anything I want to buy them for like two bucks. So. Cool. So, um, <clears throat> oh, I just need to. Yeah, that was probably for something else. We are making an announcement at 11. You're gonna want to be around for it, but. Like he said, that's it. So, um, yeah. Are you able to try and win? Uh, Philip, I'll ask him when he gets back. Personally, I don't know about that. I'm just his fill-in. Hi, I'm Tosh. What's up? All right, so on the board right now, we got Punisher plus Cage. Um, issue number 60 for three bucks. I'm going to go around the board once, and then I'm going to start removing stuff or, you know, redoing it. Uh, Detective Comics number 609. That's just, yeah, people fighting against police. Batman's on the side of police. It's three bucks. Do which what you want with that information. Um, we got Chamber of Chills. Oh my god, this is something I'm into. The thing is on the roof, you guys. Holy junk. Issue number three, five bucks. Try to make it interesting. Oh my god, there's two comics out. Okay. Ghost. Number six, um, devil dude's making out with this hot chick that's holding a gun. Three bucks. I mean, that alone, you should be like, whoa, hot chick with a gun. Let's buy that. Here's a... Uh, I guess he meant to do this, but here's the Blackest Night Aftermath from Action Comics. Number 890 for six bucks. And in back of it, we have Constantine Hellblazer. Um, I guess that's two comics for six bucks. You guys better grab that before he, like, realizes there's something wrong. Okay, cool. There's an empty spot. So I'll put something out. Um, yeah. Because I don't know what I'm doing. Chamber of Chills for five. Okay. That's awesome. Cool. You got the Chamber of Chills. Thank you very much, Yinka. Hello, Yinka. Alright. <laughs> um, cool. So right now I'm going to put out a $3 comic because that's what I'm allowed to do. Where's the marker? There it is. So, three. Boop. So, I got for three bucks, Forever Evil, The Justice League, number 27. <sighs> Poor little cyborg. <laughs> Just getting his butt kicked. Alright. For four, I got Cable 99 Annual uh, from April 99, Giant Size Spectacular, with the darkest of times looming, Cable confronts the evil, Sinister. He looks pretty sinister. Anyway, four bucks. He's super, thanks for asking. Alright. <laughs> we got Demon Gun. Issue number three. That was really hard to read Demon on there. I just want you to know, especially for a dyslexic person like me. 
Um, issue number three is three bucks. Bunch of hot chicks doing weird things in front of an old guy picture. Three dollars. <laughs> no. I'm a slithery little snake. Oh, I did see that. Yeah, yeah. I'm a slithery little snake. <laughs> evil Ernie Revenge. Number four for five bucks. And on the cover, you got Evil Ernie. He uh, He's doing his evil thing. His hands are bleeding. Lady Death's in the back. Looking amazing as usual. Five bucks. I would think Jay would have jumped on that, but I guess he's not on here right now. Jeez Louise. <laughs> Finister. Oh, yeah. Finister. That's so hard to say, though. Um, alright, so, yeah, I'm going to take down the Punisher in cage. I thought you guys w wanted Punisher. What happened? It's gone forever now. Oh, no. So instead of that, I'm going to see if one more Punisher thing sells before I'm like, I'm just, I'm just not doing Punisher anymore. Um, now I'll put it on for $3. This is p the Punisher War Journal, uh... Two men, one parachute, no joke. Issue number 38 for three bucks. Pew! You literally have him fighting with a guy for a parachute. It sounds like a really bad episode of Two and a Half Men. Boop, 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 boop. Alright. Next, I am going to take down. Yeah, I'm going to take down this Detective Comics. You know what? I'll leave that up for one more round because I feel like it wasn't. I feel like it wasn't up for enough time. All right, that is two DC books for three bucks. Ghost, you guys don't want Hot Lady with a gun? What is wrong with you? I'm gonna leave that one up for one more round and put something right here. And the thing I'm gonna put there is wait, Deadpool Predator. What? Oh, I wish there was a Deadpool. If that happened, that'd be the coolest thing ever. I don't know if he would kill Predator or if he wanted to do Predator. Like, there's two finite lines that Deadpool could be on right there. <laughs> don't say that too loud. <laughs> okay. Ooh, we're having fun over here. Alright. How about some Hulk, then? Because... Oh, I'm like Deadpool Predator. There's a lot of stuff he would do with Predator, I'm sure. Um, about about three things. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> we got World War Hulk, Gamma Files. It's a Marvel one shot. Before Jason sees what I'm doing, I'm gonna put it up for three bucks. Shh. And if Marcus, if you're watching, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, there's two books for six bucks right here. You guys can claim them. Um, but by the time I'm done doing the circle, I'm going to take those off. So claim them quick. How much for Wolverine? Um, so, Tyson, you must be new. Um, that Wolverine right over there is uh, signed by Stan Lee. It is a 9.4 graded, and it is $275. The prices are on the sticky notes up top. To claim an item, simply state the uh, name and the price of the item. Uh, once you get that, we put your name on it. It gets ready for shipping. Once we receive payment, it is shipped the next day. Oh, but, yeah, you are new. So, if you claim that thing, you're going to have to call immediately um, to pay if you want to claim anything else tonight. The reason for this is that new members have a $60 cap. Um, trust me, it's needed. We've had new people claim like, you know, a lot of items and then just never pay for them. And it makes other people actually lose out on great deals and books they're looking for. So that's how we do things around here. You're awesome. Thank you. All right. What's the one you just put out, Tosh? Froze on me. Oh, this one? Oh. Oh no, I killed the comic. Okay, this one was World War Hulk, the Gamma Files. It's a one shot, and it's out for three bucks. I think it's worth a lot more. But he said just put them out for three bucks. I was like, okay, I'm gonna put them out for three bucks. But then he's gonna yell at me if he finds out that this is out for three bucks and no one bought it. So you should buy that like immediately, because <laughs> um, I might get in trouble if he sees it. Anyway, hmm. So I'm gonna take down the Forever Evil Justice League. That was only three dollars. Number twenty-seven. 
and um, that's Gone Forever. I like this Gone Forever thing. I kind of feel like I control everything. <laughs> oh man, Josh New, are you on the feed? I have a buttload of Punisher here, or uh, Preacher, not Punisher. And I know that he'd be into it. Um, yeah, I tagged him on the last one. To tag him again, please. Oh no. <laughs> I was like, they have fun. <laughs> right. How's it going? You anything? Yeah, I stole a few things and uh, put more stuff on my shirt. All right. Uh, there's an empty spot right there, though. Oh, yeah, gotcha. What is this? How much for Wolverine? Uh, like $60. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. All right. Got some Captain America and the Falcon. Are you ready? This is a 15 cent Silver Age. Captain America and the Falcon issue. This is number 135. More monster than man. Cast being hung over the ledge of a building by a Yeti of some kind. And Falcon's trying to help him by hanging from a rope. Even though Falcon, I thought, had wings, right? Uh, this is in a very good plus to fine condition. We'll put it out right now for $16. $16. For Captain America and the Falcon 135. How's everybody doing on the feed? Is the person on the feed that always asks if I find colder? Because I found some colder, but I'm not going to put it out if uh, that person's not on the feed. Jarno. Thank you, sir. I like it. I like the fact that you requested something and then you bought it. This is Captain America and the Falcon, issue 145. Issue 145. A little spot up here on the cover. Otherwise, it looks great. Skyjacked. Hydra surrounding him. They've taken out Sharon Carter. All right, well, I'm going to put some colder out. I don't have the single issues, but I got a graphic novel. This is Captain America and the Falcon, 145 That is $8. All right, this is Colder. This is Colder, Volume 1. This is the complete collection of Colder. Uh, this has issues, I'm assuming, 1 through 4 or 1 through 6 in there, whatever the first miniseries is. Um One through five. One through five of Colder. I'm going to let this guy go for 15 bucks. Colder graphic novel for 15 Get underneath the spot here. $4 on the cable. We'll put out Colder for 15 This cable didn't sell for four, really? Cable graphic novel? Or uh, annual? It's a good price. Do I have the first solo Punisher book? I did, Dennis. I did. Uh, I actually sold issues one through five of it um, about a week or so ago when we're still in the old location. I know we have more of them, but I don't know where they're at currently, and I don't know if we have any more of one through five. Yeah, I can say that might be the only one that we had. I'm not sure. Just need number one. I'll keep an eye out for it, Dennis. No promises. No promises. All right. I found a few uh, graphic novels, Kevin. Uh... 80s and 90s-ish graphic novels. I'm not sure if any of them are going to be exactly what you're after, but I'm going to put them up here for you anyway. This first one is War Machine Classic. If anything says 80s, 90s, it's War Machine. That's for sure. And uh, this contains uh, War Machine 1 through 7 and the War Machine Ashcan. It's supposed to be 
$25. Now, I can't mark down a lot. Any of these books that I grabbed tonight, the graphic novels, I can't mark down a whole lot. Uh, but I'll mark it down a little bit for you. $22. $22 for the War Machine Classic graphic novel. Brand new. I'm still on the Demon Gun for three. Nobody bought Demon Gun? Again, keep those shares going. We get up to 40 unique viewers. We are going to give away immediately, as soon as we hit 40, a $25 Starbucks gift card. We gave one away yesterday pretty early on. And I'd like to give one away again, that's for sure. Oh, no problem, Timothy. I'm probably not going to find any anytime soon. But if I do, I'll keep an eye out for them. I'm going to pull that down. These are two Marvel comics, two Marvel comics, completely blind, two Marvel comic bundle for only $3, two for three bucks. All right, I've got stuff on the board right now. Quite a bit of things, actually. I'm going to uh, check and see what all we got up there. This is Wolverine Volume 3, Issue 3 in the close-up window. That is $275. That is signed by Stan Lee. Stan Lee, $275 for that Wolverine. Uh, up top, uh, in the first spot up here, this is Punisher War Journal, Issue 38. Two men, one parachute, no joke. $3. Detective Comics 609, featuring Anarchy, also $3. We got a two DC comics for three dollar a lot right here, three bucks gets you two DC comics, a dollar fifty a piece. No matter what they are, it's well worth that. This is Ghost issue six from Dark Horse, very cool cover. Um, I think it was a Joe Casada cover, but it's not. Uh, it's a three dollars. This is the World War Hulk Gamma Files. I'm talking about all the different characters from World War Hulk. That is three bucks. For $6, this is Action Comics 890 and Hellblazer issue number 211. That's right. You got two comics right here for $6. Two comics for 6 bucks. That's a heck of a deal. This is the Captain America and the Falcon issue 145. That is $8. This is a two Marvel for $3 bundle deal. Two Marvel comics for 3 bucks. Up here, this is the War Machine classic graphic novel, all about War Machine. It contains War Machine 1 through 7, a War Machine ash can. And on the back there, of course, there's Hawkeye's that as well. 22 bucks for that. And this is Evil Ernie Revenge, issue number 4, for $5. Thanks for the likes and shares, Chris. We appreciate it. Stuff up on the board. I'm gonna start pulling some of it down. Uh, 
Man, it's just a ton of sirens blasting through here all night tonight. Ton of sirens. It's uh it's crazy. Is it? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Um let's see, let's see. Um All right, I'm going to take down the uh the war machine for 22. I'm taking the graphic novel. Um A stack of graphic novels away for the time being that I grabbed. Is it done this way? I think so. I think it's one of the people are staying outside of. Yes, you can. Journo gets the uh, cap and uh, Falcon for eight. Thank you. This is Neozoic issue number three. Neozoic number three. Um, that dude has a sword, and this chick is riding a dinosaur, and he's going to fight other dinosaurs with a sword. Eh, it's a pretty good comic premise, I got to say. It's from Red 5 Comics, which does uh, whatever that robot comic is. I can't remember. Neozoic, regardless, is three dollars for Neozoic issue number three. Very cool for three bucks. Spider-Man, two fifty-eight. Um, I don't think I have really any uh, selection of Amazing Spider-Man right now. Um, I'll keep an eye out, but I don't. I don't think I have it. Uh, you can. I can't guarantee that I'll uh, I'll fill them, but I'll do what I can on it. This is Captain America number one hundred and nineteen. It is a Silver Age Captain America for seventeen dollars. The skull falls, and that's the red skull on the ground there in front of Captain America and Falcon. It's in a very fine condition. Seventeen dollars, Captain America one nineteen, and there is the Falcon there on the front with him. Oh. <laughs> oh, gotcha. <laughs> Third appearance of the Falcon. Yep. Wonder Woman, Storm, Gambit, and Rocket Raccoon. Um, I'll see what I can do, Philip. This is an amalgam issue. This is Assassin's issue number one. Assassin's number one for $4. That is a McDaniel cover, and it's a, uh, a mix of Katana and Elektra and uh, Deathstroke's daughter and others. Basically, every uh, badass Marvel and DC female assassin all mixed together in these. $4 for assassins number one. I'm going to take down the Punisher War Journal for three. Put out the assassins for four. Assassin's reported. Dennis. Thank you, Dennis.
This is Captain America and the Falcon, issue number 205. I've already got it. It's on the table behind you. Uh, there's no way to fight this thing. Then the city is doomed. That's a Jack Kirby cover at $6. Captain America and the Falcon, issue 205. Six bucks for that. This is from Pilot Season, which is part of Top Cow, where they basically put out a one-shot to see if people like it. If they did, they took it to series. This is The Core, issue number one, by Jonathan Hickman and Kenneth Rockefeller, which is a pretty awesome team. $3 for The Core, number one. It's worth it for the art alone in that. I'm going to take it the Detective Comics for three. We're going to put that out for three. This is a bundle I just put together. Here are three Batman comics. Three Batman comics for six dollars. Three Batman comics for six bucks. You can get right here. I'm gonna take down this for three. This is the ghost. Pull her down. Obviously, he's already got this one for seventeen. I'm gonna take that down. This is Grim Fairy Tales Myths and Legends issue number eight. That is a, a mermaid on the front of that. It is going to be three dollars for that issue. I'm going to take down the uh, World War Hulk Gamma Files here for three. Put that out for three. This is Judge Dredd, issue number eight. Judge Dredd, number eight. You're breaking my heart, creep. Learn to love your law. And that is an awesome looking cover. Um, I'm Steve Dillon. Sweet Judge Dredd cover. Uh, the one I just took down. Let me let me put something else out here real quick. Let me have these two. Two DC Comics for six bucks and pull those down. Put out Judge Dredd here for five. Uh, the one I just took down was Captain America, issue number 119. It's the third appearance of the Falcon. It was $17. $17 for a 15-cent cover. That's the Red Skull beaten down on the front. Captain America, 119 for 17 I've not found any Spider-Man Deadpool at all, Justin. I've not found any so far. Um, I've not had a lot of chance to look, though, uh, but I, I've not I've not found any. Um, any other graphic novels? Uh, well, I had the War Machine out. Whoa, what just happened? What? God. Yeah, I just went out. See the books? Yeah, kind of. Sort of. Uh, yeah.
if you're working, you want to swing the laptop. [laughs] There we go. God, that is good. Have some more corn, no? Well, you gotta have the corn. Um Josh, are you gonna be able to finish it? Oh, I just [inaudible 0:39:59.20] Look, look at that. Um, that thing's so funny. Um Look at that little lid. Well, no, that's for the corn and stuff. This is for the potatoes. What kind of corn do you want, Josh? Um, just normal corn, or do you want like, sorry do you want like Cajun Cajun cornmeal? Um, no no like Portland corn, you know like that kinda thing. Oh, that's like that's like fifty cents worth. That's like fifty cents worth. Oh that's actually not that bad. Yeah. That's not bad at all. Yeah, I wanna try this, I wanna try this corn mix. Ooh, excuse me. Yeah. Okay, here. Um Lemme just, I'ma just start off by saying Hey Phil. You know how to make this corn mix? And then you just mix it with some water and some stuff, right? [noise] Wow, this thing's like really like, yeah Hey Phil. Maybe put some pepper in this. Hmm? Or no, that's fine. Uh, like Himalayan pepper? Some pepper. Yeah, just to be s- sure. [noise] Well, this one is a little raw. So Sorry about that. Phil. Where's your knife? Uh just in here I don't have any so that kinda screws me over, but Okay. Are you sure you don't want like the corn starch in anything? Like you want like Chancey over there. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm gonna steal off I don't know where this goes. K um I need a plate to put these. Uh Plate? Here, sorry. Looking for some Get that big ol' plate for everyone. Whatever. I'm just throwing these together now cuz I really don't know what goes with what. Big one, too. Small one, too. Big one, small ones. I'm just gonna steal off I don't know where this goes. K, um That's probably good enough. Yeah, it's just enough for like the board members. Yeah. Yeah. And then we'll just put that as stuff later. No no, cuz I don't want anything like sticking to it. Like I don't wanna, I don't wanna have oil on my hands. Huh? Should we just use the rag? Sorry. Oh, yeah. Oh, here. I will cut it. Here. Thank you, sir. Well, that side of things is done. Oh, now we need to cut this part out. Okay. Yeah. This part needs to come out a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Ah, that's better. Uh Can you give me something to scrape it off with? Um Yeah, I used the same thing that Mike used. Here, lemme, I'll scrape it off with you. [inaudible 0:41:49.92] Yeah, that one looks better. Um Here, hold on. Actually no, it's okay. Can you take like the whole roll? [noise] Yeah, I will. Thank you. [noise] Here. Why don't I just, I'm just gonna put these on the table. Mike, can you use this? Oh, sorry. Yeah. Oh, I'll use that. Here. Why don't you just grab the whole roll. Yeah, just put it on the table. Yeah, anybody can just grab anything. Yeah. Oh, it's fine. There's a lot of toppings left. Yeah. And only apple, right? Apples. Do you guys like pineapple? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So this is, like, steamed rice. Steamed rice? Here. Yeah, I had fun with the cooking pictures in reel, like, pictures of fish and stuff. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Well, we can add this to the carrot plate. Should we put some chicken in that as well? Uh, yeah. Well, we need, how many do we need like, one two three four five. Well, might as well make all of'em and then just keep them, okay. Uh, we need some plates. Yeah, yeah might as well, right? I'll grab the plates and set the table. You have to, yeah. Sometimes when you turn it off it takes a little while to come back on. It smells really good. Okay. I still can't remember what we did on Saturday [laughs]. Still? [laughs] Rice is ready! Where d'you buy the chicken? Uh, at that Eighty eight supermarket on Victoria street. Oh right yeah. It seems like it's quite a bit cheaper there. Oh, okay. Yeah, maybe we can buy some chicken and just make exact same rolls. We can do that. Oh, we definitely can. That wouldn't confuse people. Well, I'm sure it doesn't confuse people. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so yeah so far so good. But I need one more, like, sheet maybe. We can just use this. What? Yeah, just make sure that it's all ma- , that it's all like ready to go. Yeah. It does say oven, normal oven. That means it can be brought out to the top. Okay. [noise] Hey, Jas, I forgot to uh wash the uh Just get a just get a thingamajig. Hold on. It's right there. It's it's right there. Actually, yeah, I think it's just behind you. It's behind you. It's not done? No, I will wash it. Okay. [noise] Oh man, it's gonna be so hot. I'm gonna stop there, I'm gonna stop there for just a second. It's gonna be like hot though. Yeah, it's gonna be hot. [noise] I'm gonna stop there for just a second. It's gonna be really hot. [noise] I'm gonna stop there for just a second. It's gonna be really hot. [noise] Yeah, because the corn is getting very a comfortable seven thirty five. Yeah. Can I put the chicken as well? Oh yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna put the chicken in the middle there. One second. That's good. That's good. That's good. Yeah. It's just the oil. It's like really oily. Yeah. No, no. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, it's oily, that's fine. It's just cuz usually when I do like the bacon I'll put the chicken in the middle and then I'll bake it. Yeah. Yeah. Just to like kinda break it up. Yeah. Yeah. But this is, like I said before, bacon is something that I could live without. Bacon is good. It's just the price of it and everything else. Yeah. And plus, I mean, you can just keep repeating it. That's the nice thing about it. We also have uh this thing called uh, whatever you call it. Uh, Heat Transfer. Oh. Heat transfer. Yeah, so you can have that too. Yeah. Yeah. [noise] Yeah, that's like my favorite. Oh, is it? Oh. Cuz I like uh, cuz uh Stan gets to keep all the bacon. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. And then all the cool uh Chancey has. Whatever you call it. I can't remember what it's called. Uh it's the Heat Transfer. Heat Transfer. Yeah, so you get you get the bacon and whatever you want. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Okay. Mmm. Wanna turn on the Hmm? Uh y- I guess you can turn on the air. It's kind of chilly. Yeah, go for it. Also loud. Dollop. I hadn't finished. These potatoes are gonna be wonky now. Dude, the potatoes are fine. [noise] Dude those potatoes are fucking hilarious. [noise] Yeah. Gonna be like, "Oh yeah, we're gonna have uh carrots on the side of the road." [laughs] [noise] Can't wait for it. Gonna be like "Oh yeah, we're gonna have uh" Well, we can have our veggies and then we'll have carrots on the side of the road. [laughs] I don't think that's true. [noise] Oh yeah, that's true. [laughs] I dunno if I'm gonna get this. [noise] Sweet. Cuz I'm I'm doing this for the first time. Yeah, you should do it. Why? Whoa. Dude, look at this. What? It's like, you like peel it? Why don't you just wash it off? Yeah. Yeah. And then we'll just put the carrots on the side. Okay, do you mind? Here, I'll do it. Um. I don't know if you have enough space. But I'm gonna put the veggies down. Yeah, don't worry. I'm gonna dump the potatoes on you. [noise] I'm sure they're fine. [noise] I'm sure they're fine. [laughs] Dude, okay, do you want this on the side, or is this gonna be too small? Like, this part's gonna be too small? Oh, you mean like here? Yeah. Yeah, that part's really squishy. Oh, that's good. Oh, you're you're gonna have cheese on your sandwich. [laughs] That's what I was hoping. Cuz there's that one side that's squishy. That part's not squishy. Oh, I like the end of it. [noise] Interesting. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's almost ready. Look at that. Yeah. That's good. Oh, look at that. It literally just like Yeah. that part. Yeah, yeah. Right there, right there. That's good. That's really good. Oh, and I forgot to do the onion. Yeah, we still have to do the onion. Like this? [inaudible 0:15:37.24] toss it? Am I trying to go too soft? Uh, you can go soft. Huh? Should I soften it? Toss it? Sure. [laughs] I think that was too much. No, that's fine. Okay. Cool. I can actually like just eat it. Oh, wow. Yeah. Like, I like, I don't eat salty veggies. Oh, really? No, not salty veggies. No, I don't eat starchy veggies. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, me neither. I'm very lazy. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah, it's okay. You can put, you can toss it in the middle. What? This is fine, right? Okay. I mean, as long as you don't eat like, the entire thing? Yeah. Uh, I guess we don't really have that much time, like. You have this much time? Um, we probably don't need this much time. Okay, that's fine. We'll eat it on our time. We'll eat it on our time. Thank you. Yeah, it's fine. Well, you can just
older Marvel team up. I'll see what I can do. I don't know if I can do anything today about that. But uh, we used to have quite a bit around. I'll see what if I can find any. Yeah, it'll think you're it'll think you're a bot if you say the same thing a couple of times. So you might want to put. Well, you did put it in a sentence the first time. I don't know why I just dropped it. <laughs> Cause you wrote a full sentence in the first swing. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, I have no idea. We'll see. It, it dropped his and his. Both those Captain America things. I don't know. I got no clue. Or it could just be anything else. I have no clue. I have no idea why I said that. Facebook. It's a, uh, it's a mystery. A conundrum. We'll never solve. This is Teen Titans number 27 from the new 52. When a Titan falls. And uh, that is Kid Flash. Hey. Uh, you did miss a couple, Josh, but I got more. This is Teen Titans issue 27 for $3. I'm going to take down the uh, Grim Fairy Tales for three. We'll put out the Teen Titans for three. All right, Josh, you looking for some Preacher? Did you happen to see the uh, Stan Lee uh, Wolverine there in the close-up as well? Wolverine number three, signed by Stan Lee for $275. Jarno, five and seven. Yeah, see, I mean, we never get to see that. I don't know what's going on. Uh, Jarno, if something happens and you can't, we can't see your claim, private message us your claim, and uh, that way we can get to you. That way we hate for anybody to miss any books they may be after. Yeah, it's not. It's a uh, two hundred seventy-five. Funny, funny. Josh knew, but right now, uh, if any of you guys want to buy that right now, also for two hundred fifty dollars. But we're not putting in the comments. We're not going to change the tag. Two hundred fifty bucks until I decide not to sell for two hundred fifty dollars. All right, let's see. Let's find something that Josh knew needs. Oh, I got something right here. This is the Saint of Killers, issue number four of four from Preacher for five dollars. Nope. I got a number four. I might find the others. I might not. For right now, that's all I got. For the saint, I got some preacher, though. If I had those set, I would have put those set up for you. But we just found number four when we found some other preacher today. So, I mean, there's probably more around. But for right now, it's kind of one of them. Maybe we'll just take it as you can get it. There you go, Josh. Thank you. Um, I'm not sure what you need as far as books go when it comes to Preacher, but I think I found some issues that you don't have yet. This is Preacher issue 22. 22 of Preacher. Two knives on the table there with Air Star and Jesse Custer's um, mirror images in them. It is a near mint condition. So just for mature readers, six bucks for Preacher 22. Over here for three, that is the core number one. That's not moving. I'm going to pull that down. I'm going to put out Captain America and the Falcon issue 142. It's still 15 cents. It's still Silver Age. Uh, action in the Marvel manner. This is the one you've been waiting for, the unbelievable ending. And they're taking on the gray gargoyle in that one. Captain America and the Falcon, 142 for $8.
We're going to put this out for $9. This is Adventures of Superman issue 500. This is the resurrection of Superman when he came back from the dead. It's nine bucks for this. It is in a poly bag. Nine bucks for the resurrection of Superman. Right there, I guess. We kind of run around the board, filled it up. There's it. Everything is full right now. Ooh, there were two issues of Preacher in this bag and board. And, of course, in that close-up window, that is the Stanley autograph Wolverine. It's for sale right now. On deal for only 250 bucks. No. Yep. Somebody just screaming as they're driving the road. Well. <laughs> All right, first up we got that is The Preacher, issue 22. That's $6 for that. Next to it is Captain America and the Falcon. That is issue number 142. It is $8 for that one. Below that, we have two DC comics for $3. We've also got next to it three Batman comics for 6 bucks. Teen Titans, issue number 27 from the new 52. That is $3. Next to it is Judge Dredd, issue number eight, with this awesome Steve Dillon cover. That is only five dollars. I do not Steve. That's Brian Boland. Brian Boland, artist. I think artist on um, the Watchmen. I believe did that one. Um, Neozoic, issue number three for three dollars. I'm going to show this to cover because it's kind of muddy, so you probably can't really see what's going on here. But there's a chick riding a dinosaur. There's a guy with a sword. About to fight more dinosaurs. It's pretty awesome. Three dollars for that. Then we've got two Marvel books out here for three bucks. The Resurrection of Superman and Adventures of Superman issue five hundred for nine, and Evil Ernie, Evil Ernie Revenge issue number four for five dollars. Nineties. I'm not sure when exactly. Yeah, I don't know the actual date on it. Is Josh still on the feed? Josh New, do you need a... Uh, I just noticed that uh, before I put that out, that preacher issue, I'm going to take that down, uh, that they're actually sequential, the ones I have here. If you want to buy a lot of these, uh, I have 20 through 25 and then 27. I don't have 26. So I got 20 through 25 and 27. If you need those issues, let me know on the preacher and I'll see. I thought they were more scattered than that. But yeah, yeah, it's, it's 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, and then 27. This is Punisher Warzone issue 15, Awakenings. And that is $3. $3 for that issue of Punisher.
This is Metamorpho, the Element Man. Viva El Metamorpho. Ready, aim, fire. It's a tortilla. It's a tamale. No, it's Metamorpho shuffling his atoms again. That's right. He's in Mexico, and they're using every stereotype imaginable in this classic issue. It is a, uh, it says, Caramba, look who's south of the border. And everything. Everything's on the cover of this. It is magical. Um, it is issue number four. It is a 12-cent Silver Age copy of Metamorpho. And I'm going to put it out right now for $7. Uh, yeah, just 27. I don't have 26. Metamorpho, that is $7. I'm going to take down this uh, lot. I'm just going to lay it right here. It's the uh, two DC books for three bucks. I'm going to set this right here. Oh, wow. You need one whole preacher book today? Fantastic. Don't need any doubles, Josh. You don't need any doubles of anything. You don't, need to, you don't need to send some off to get graded and then some to keep, some to read. All right, well, this is Preacher Issue 27. Preacher 27, that is six bucks for that one. You can claim it. I imagine you will. Got any Flash fans on the feed? Preacher for six goes to Josh. This is Adventures in the DC Universe. This month, The Flash. It is $3. Battling the Bomb Squad. Also, Catwoman. She's on a billboard. Three bucks for Adventures in the DC Universe, issue number two. I'm going to take this. This is the three Batman comics for $6. We're going to drop that down. We're going to put that out for $3. This is Robin, issue number two of five for four dollars. Robin, issue two for four bucks. Take down the Teen Titans for three. Put out the Robin for four. All right, I'll take this down. What else is this? Superman. It's uh, Evil Ernie. All right, everything on the board right now, minus the Wolverine in the close up window, is $3. Whether it's tag $3, whether it's not tag $3, everything on the board right now. For the next minute is three bucks. I'm going to set the timer going. We're going to see what we can do. See if we can uh, reset the board here. Three dollars. Get to claiming. Super, here's Josh's. 
Superman for three to Josh New. That's the resurrection of Superman up there for nine. All right, what else we getting? Three dollars. Really? Nobody's buying anything on the board for three bucks? Man, all this lack of buying didn't get me really excited for uh, what we have to announce later. Nope. Uh, we did have it, but we don't have it now, Philip. Yep, got something to announce later tonight, but uh, you know, it's not really a big deal. For making a lot of sales is like, it's not a thing. Cap for three to Josh. Yes, yeah, Philip, it's a lot easier if you're just like, man, do you have any Spider-Man? And I just put out Spider-Man. Like, it's a lot easier. The real specific stuff, a lot of times I'm going to be saying no, just because a lot of times I, we just aren't going to have it, or it's not going to be accessible for me to grab for you. But I'll do what I can whenever I get the chance. I might everybody to share out the feed. As soon as we hit 40 unique viewers, we're going to be giving away a Starbucks gift card. And we're currently at 37. We are close. We're close right now to our giveaway. Oh, it's dropping back down, though. Oh, it's back up. It's back down. Back up. I don't know. It's going everywhere. It keeps, it keeps going up. It hit 39. Drop back down. And then we have to see it on our feed. I would see it on our feed. It doesn't matter if it is on yours. Does have to be on ours to uh, to count? What are you looking to buy tonight, Trey? Forty three. We did it. We hit forty three. We are going to have a giveaway. Actually, Trey, we hit 43. Thanks for the help, though. We got it. Uh, 43. 43. So uh, it's time for a giveaway. Somebody who has shared the feed tonight is going to win a $25 Starbucks gift card as soon as we get the names drawn. All right, so they get it tallied up. We'll announce the winner. This, in the meantime, is Spectacular Spider-Man. Issue number 140, Rendezvous with Death. And they're spotting from the Statue of Liberty with crosshairs on him. That's no good. He's going to get shot right in his kidney. Spectacular Spider-Man, 140. That is going to be $4. $4 for this. It is from um, 1988. It is near mint, never red condition. Uh, not today, we're not. Not today. It's probably for the best. We won't be doing a whole lot of giveaways. Josh Smith. Josh Smith has won the $25 Starbucks gift card. Everybody congratulate Josh on the feed. We do. We carry a lot of really good Spider-Man. Mm. 
All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. No problem. Yep. Uh, no, Jason, um, this isn't an auction. It's a claim sale. So the post-it note at the top of the item, that is the dollar amount. So, for instance, that spectacular Spider-Man for $4, it's just 4 bucks. If you put sp in the comment, put the name of the item and the price, and you get it. If you're the first person that we see in our comments. So you'd just put Spider-Man for 4 since there's only Spider-Man out there for 4 And if Tosh sees your comment coming first, it's yours. And then tomorrow, you'll pay for it. Either by private messaging us tonight or in the morning with your PayPal address or call in the store tomorrow at 606-877-1450 and paying by credit card over the phone. Shipping is only $5.95 up to 30 books. Uh, after 30 books and you're working on your next $5.95, every 30 books is $5.95 shipping. Um, new people have a $60 cap, uh, but you're welcome to buy all the way up to that $60 cap, man. We're totally fine with it. And if you like Spider-Man, I've got a ton of it back here for really low prices. So uh, just let me know. No problem. Yeah, Jared, that is Stan Lee signed. It's a Stan Lee signed Wolverine issue three. Don't show it to the camera. I think I've shown it to the camera this feed yet. I'm going to show real quick, let a lot of you see this stuff. It's pretty cool. This is the Stan Lee signed Wolverine volume three, issue three, uh, written by Greg Rucka, cover by Saad Ribic, which you can see there. Wolverine on the motorcycle, looking very cool. It is Stan Lee autographed. Um, welcome to Westfall there. Very cool stuff. Not only that, and not only is it certified by the CGC, but Celebrity Authentics has certified it, and it has its own extra certificate of authenticity as well inside the baggie. Uh, it's listed at 275 right now, but you know what? It's almost about for 250. Uh, I'll let it go for 250. We do. Um, it's just that when we moved over to the new location, a lot of our boxes of stuff, I'm not sure where anything is. Uh, we do have a whole box of them. I just don't know where they're at currently, but it's another thing to keep my eye out for. Like I say, over the next few days, it'll be a little more streamlined. We'll be able to have a lot more stuff repress people are asking for. I just do not have the ability to get a lot of it right now, as much as I'd like to. But that's why we're having stuff so cheap. Make up for it. Grab some books you might not normally get. You can get them for crazy cheap, and uh, hey, it works out for everybody. Uh, speaking of crazy cheap, this has been marked down from 130 This is $110. This is Batman number 357. It is bagged and boarded and in a top loader. This is the first appearance of Jason Todd. This is also the first appearance of the Killer Croc. It is $110. $110 for Batman number 357. Very fine condition. All right, this is All-Star Western featuring Jonah Hex. All-Star Western featuring Jonah Hex. It's issue number 30. That is going to be three bucks. The Deadly Duo is back. There you go. Sitting right here beside of the uh, Evil Arnie. Three bucks. 
That does fill the board. Right, we got lots of stuff on the board right now. We have the Punisher War Zone, issue number uh, 15 for $3. We've got Spectacular Spider Man 140 for $4. We got Metamorpho, Silver Age Metamorpho, issue number three for only $7. We've got Adventures in the DC Universe featuring The Flash for $3. we got Robin, issue number two for $4. We've got Judge Dredd, number eight for five. Neozoic, issue three for three. We've got a two Marvel bundle out there for $3. We've got the All-Star Western, number 30, featuring Jonah Hex for $3. we got Evil Ernie Revenge, number four for $5. And... I have two, count them, two bundles down here. I've got a two DC for $3 bundle. And a Batman, three Batman comics for $6 bundle as well. That is 76 bucks worth of books on the board, not including the first appearance of Jason Todd. $76. I'll sell the entire board for $49. $49 for the entire board minus the Batman uh, with the uh, Jason Todd first appearance, of course. $49 gets you the entire board of stuff that is up there right now. I'm going to let that go for about a minute, and then I'll just start pulling the board down. All those books, 49 bucks. you're getting three bundles plus multiple comics. So you get even more comics than what you see on the board right there. All that for 49 So we just got to claim the board for 49 bucks. Uh, no. We, uh, we sold those a while back. I'm pretty certain. Yeah, we had one a while back. But, uh, yeah, yeah, we sold it. The last one we had was the uh, Redlands Retailer Incentive Cover. We sold that one, too. All right, I'm almost about for 49 How about $45? $45 for the entire board. 45 bucks gets you the whole board right there. Board for 45 See, that's all you got to put in your feed, too. Board for $45, and you get everything up here for $45. Bucks. No takers for $45 on these. You got Spider-Man, Punisher. You got some Batman books. You got a little bit of everything. And there are lots up here. Yes, there's lots. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. All right, last markdown. We're in the next tier, 15 seconds or so. $40. $40 for the entire board. 40 bucks for the board minus the close-up Batman comic. You can claim the whole board for 40 bucks. That's true, Philip. It's something we've uh I feel like we pioneered it. There's some there's some that do it now, but uh we I think we we innovated it. Uh, I feel like perfected a good system. But it's always in flux. We're changing things up all the time, trying to keep it new. Some things work, some things don't. Yes. Um, I don't know. You have to pay actual shipping cost. All right. Pulling the board down.
time is it right now? It is 9.15 right now. It is 9.15. Uh, a couple of days ago, apparently. It certainly does. I don't know either, John. You may just have to uh, reset or back out of the uh, app and go back in to Facebook. 716, your time, yeah. <laughs> yeah on Eastern Standard Time here. All right, this is the board that I just pulled down. So maybe it helped to see the fact that it's a giant brick of comics. This giant pile of books, $35. $35 for this random brick of comics is going to be right there. Now we're going to put some more books out. You guys can look at. This is a number one from DC Comics. This is Robin, issue number one. Free poster inside on this. This is a Brian Bowen cover of Robin number one. That is going to be $5. The camera's not going to like it. It's got a red cover, and it just blows everything out immediately. This is the Incredible Hulk, issue number 326. Incredible Hulk 326. It is from uh, 1986, and that is a Gray Hulk and a Green Hulk going at it. When Hulks collide, that is $4. $4 for that Hulk issue. Got some vertigo issues of why the last man. Do I have anybody interested in why the last man? Should have quite a bit of uh, of issues for it. Why the Last Man's been uh, rumored to be in development for years and years and years. Brian K. Vaughn. But the last man on earth and all the women who uh, want him for their own nefarious reasons, generally. Uh, one guy and one monkey, they survive and they're on the road together. And uh, they go through a, uh, a woman ruled and lived earth. And uh, after all men were uh, killed by a virus, except for him, things get crazy. Why the Last Man from Vertigo. 
Very good stuff. I've got issue 37, 40, 41, 42, 45, 46, 47, 49, and 50, the final issue. I've got all of these together. Um, if somebody talks about they need some wildlife, I'll put those out. One of these I thought we were sold out of completely. I'm going to show this uh, this big gatefold cover off. This is Infinity War number one. As you can see, the back cover and the front cover there are one big shot. Then it opens up further to make one giant shot of the Marvel Universe with Thanos up in the background behind them all. They're also, you know, makers of movies with the same name. This is Infinity War issue one. That's going to be $10. $10 for Infinity War number one. Uh, yeah, see, the fun part of it, they take care of that real early and show how, uh, how bad that can get. All right, you know what? I'm going to pull these down. Actually, these prices off of here. I'm going to pull this book off the board. Unless somebody claims it. you got a couple minutes to claim it. I'm going to leave it right here at the end. It's the end of my loop. As I go around, this is going to be the last one that comes off. These comics will be bagged and boarded. If they get bought, they'll be bagged and boarded before they, when they get passed over here. Uh, otherwise, I'm just going to put them out as is. This is Green Lantern issue number 27 from the New 52. It says it right there. This is Justice League Dark issue 26. It's taking on part of Forever Evil and uh, the Crime Syndicate Sea King, which is the evil Aquaman, taking on the Justice League Dark. Speaking of Justice League, this is Justice League issue number 30, and that is Lex Luthor leading the squad. That consists of Batman, Shazam, Aquaman, Cyborg, Wonder Woman, and Captain Cold. Justice League issue 30 is out there as well. This is Vampirella issue number 28. Issue 28 of Vampirella. This is Captain Marvel, issue 23. Yeah, everything we ship, ships in a box, regardless, international or not. Everything goes in a box. This is Cable, issue 101. There we go. I'm going to take down the uh, Infinity War for 10. Nobody claimed it. Nobody wanted it. And I'm going to put up the Lady Death lingerie issue. Lady Death number one lingerie right here. Uh, everything on the board right now minus this $35 random bundle, of course, is only $3. Everything on the board is 3 bucks minus this bundle. You can claim any of those for three. I don't even put the prices on them. So three bucks for those. You can claim any of those at any time. Ed gets the Hulk for three. Thank you, Dennis.
This is Wildcats X-Men, the Golden Age, issue number one. That is $3. This is G.I. Joe, issue number 20 for 3 bucks. Joe 20 for three dollars. Oh, we are we are wired in. We are hardwired into our modem. You may need to turn on the resolution on your uh, live streaming. Because we stream we stream high def. You may need to turn yours down and maybe your phone service will go smoother as far as not dropping if uh the picture's not quite as clean. Um, I'm Storm might be in this, but no, that's Wolverine and Zealot from uh, Zealot from Wildcats. All right, no takers on the Robin. No takers on Robin for three dollars. This is Voltron, Defenders of the Universe, issue number three. That issue of Voltron, that is three bucks. Voltron for three to Joshua. Thank you, Joshua. This is Bad Girls number one from DC Comics. That's going to be three dollars. this down. Nobody wants the Green Lantern. We're going to put him up. This is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles issue number three, and that are a bunch of Mausers. You can see the reflection of the turtles in their face. TMNT issue three on the back. Got a little Mega Man action. Three bucks. Again, those are being bagged and boarded. When Tosh pulls them, she's bagging and boarding and putting your names on them. So they are coming to you nice and fresh. Justice League Dark. Nobody's after Justice League Dark. That's fine. This is Thundercats Dogs of War, issue number two from Wildstorm. That is two bucks. Got some Thundercats action. Surprisingly, a lot of 80s animated action. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to put this board out here. It says $3 each. It says what it is. Weird, Josh. Yep, try switching the resolution, man. This is X-23, X-23, issue number five. That is $6. She's surrounded by clones of herself. 
I'm going to take down the uh, Bad Girls number one. We'll put out the X23 for six. I'm going to take this $3 sell tag down. I'm not doing that $3 sell anymore. It's not going anywhere. Uh, no, Captain Marvel was a man long before he was ever a woman. He's only been a woman for the last uh, five or six years. So any comics that are five or six years old are going to have a male Captain Marvel. Kristen gets the X-23. Thank you, Kristen. Good one. I found something awesome. Yeah, Captain Marvel was a guy for years. He eventually died of cancer. Died of cancer in the comics. It's kind of a big thing, you know. No matter how uh, powerful you are, something can always get you. And then uh, Miss Marvel was around for a long time, and then finally she took on the moniker of Captain Marvel. Um, It's kind of made it her own since then. Uh, this is Marvel Age issue 41. That is Stan Lee on the cover inside the return of Stan's soapbox. Uh, however, the cover is kind of missing. The cover sort of missing down the side. So guess what? Marvel Age 41 featuring Stan Lee is going to be $2. $2 for that. Oh, no problem, man. Yeah, it's a pretty interesting uh, deal. I'm sure Wikipedia has a lot better info on it than I do. This is Aquaman issue number five for four dollars. Aquaman, never mind. The corner's just gone from it. It's going away. That comic was destroyed by the ravages of some of the animals. This is Catwoman issue 21. Catwoman 21. She's taking on Captain Cold. Very cool looking uh, cover on this. That is $4 for that issue of Catwoman. Sorry. <laughs> Our office supplies? No. Oh. Uh, that's cool. I was hoping it's full of these markers. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm good for a while. This is at the rate we're going. It's not running. Now, now before the next thing, I'll probably have to. This is Arkham Asylum Living Hell issue number three, and that is um, Batgirl freaking out. Um, a stitch in time. Five bucks for that. This is the shadow. 
and I believe this is Ghost from DC, maybe popping up on the cover here. This is Ghost, or uh, The Shadow issue number 13. The Shadow number 13 from Dynamite. That is going to be $3 as well for that issue of The Shadow. This is Transformers Regeneration 1. It's issue 91. This actually continues the original Marvel uh, Transformers comics through IDW. That is $3 for that issue there. I mean, Storm might be somewhere on here, but she's not on the main front cover, but it folds out three times, so maybe. It's in near mint condition. It's $10. I don't know if uh, I don't know if she'd be on any there at all, but uh, almost every Marvel character at the time was, so it's a possibility. This is Grim Fairy Tales Vampires, issue number two, for three bucks. It's also for three. This is Avengers Arena, issue number eight. Avengers Arena number eight. That is three dollars. We got Peter Parker, Spectacular Spider-Man here. This is number 120. This is the hero cover. This is the one that's half and half him with the uh, the symbiote suits, and the other half is Peter Parker. He is framed in by the heroes. That is $5 for that issue. All right, Philip gets the Infinity Wars number one for ten. Thank you, Philip. <laughs> this is the spectacular Spider Man 189. That is a hologram cover of Spider Man. It is six dollars. It is the second print version, so it is like the gold hologram, but it's a hologram nonetheless. Look, it's almost like it's real. Six bucks for that issue. Looking at stuff, looking at things, looking at stuff, possible things to put up on the board. A lot of stuff on the board right now, so uh, we're going to see what we got up there.
watching the new Aliens? Is it any good so far? I'd imagine not, if you're watching the feed <laughs> while you're watching it. Okay, I got a whole long box of books right here. I blindly went into the vault, and I grabbed a blind ba box, just a complete long box, completely full of books. I have no idea what is inside of it. First, I'm going to go ahead and make our big announcement. I make the oh, I'm going to make the big announcement. I'm going to move this. I'm going to break everything because it's heavy. All right. I'm going to make the big announcement for uh, what we're going to do tonight. And then we're going to start selling these books. Our big announcement, and Tosh can type this in as we, uh, as we go with it. The big announcement is DC Metal has a midnight release. That's right. Somebody was talking about earlier they're going to their comic shop at midnight. Well, guess what? Our shop is not open at midnight. However, the sale will be live at midnight. And I talked to Diamond on the phone. Not only are we allowed to sell DC, Dark Knight Metal, and all of its variants at midnight, but we're allowed to sell every DC title that comes out tomorrow for New Comic Day. We can't sell any of the Image. We can't sell any Marvel. We can't sell Southern Bastards, anything like that. But all of the DC books, which includes the regular Batman run, um, Superman, Justice League, there's a number of titles out this week from DC, plus Dark Knight Metal, which we are going to sell out of. Let's just face it. You can get your first chance to get those tonight and as many copies as you'd like to buy um, at midnight. At midnight, we'll kick off at 12.01. We'll start selling the books. And uh, we're going to go for an hour from 12 to 1. So from 12 to 1, we're going to have the books up unless the comics quit selling, and then we'll just shut it down. So not one of those things where you're going to want to hop on at like 12.45 thinking you're going to grab something. Um, plus metal, even though we ordered a ton of it, uh, we've had a lot of people subscribe to it lately. But we do have a lot of uh, variants. I've got to price out after this sale is over, get everything ready. We will be having a midnight release sell for Dark Knight's Metal, including all of the DC product for this week tonight at midnight. So you can get a jump on New Comic Day a few hours early, actually 12 hours early, since the next New Comic sale will be at noon tomorrow. So you can get a 12-hour jump on New Comics, getting what I think is going to be the biggest book of the week easily and one of the biggest storylines going, Scott Snyder and Greg Capullo on Dark Knight's Metal tonight at midnight. So you can spread the word on that. We're going to have a post going up at 11, which will then promote it from 11 to midnight. Then at midnight, we'll be going live and kicking things off. Uh, we do have a Wonder Woman variant. We have a couple of the Wonder Woman variants with her uh, battling on the front. That we do. And actually, the regular issue of Wonder Woman also comes out tomorrow, which means we'll have her on sale tonight as well, both covers. I have none, Eric. This is the first one I've had, like, I had one, I think, around, right before the sale started, maybe, but I haven't had time to really do much of anything. I only got to eat because Tosh went and got food. Like, <laughs> it's been busy. Checking the books in, Tuesdays, man, for me, are swamped. That's why I don't have, like, a million books prepared. I just haven't had time. I just, I just don't have time. I'd have to work literally 24 hours a day. All right, so what I'm going to do now. We are going to pull all these books down because nobody's buying these books anyway, right? I'm going to put out some more books you're not going to want to buy, but they're going to be cheaper. So it'll be harder to resist their allure. And I don't even know what they are. I'm not looking in the box. I'm going to set this down here, that big massive lot. People can claim it at any time. These are just getting put away. For now. All right, so what I'm going to do is I have this long box here, all right? There's nothing on the board. I'm not going to put prices on these. Every single thing, and I, I'm 100% serious, I've not looked through the box other than just like right here flipping through the titles, and like I can't even really see them because the box is so full. I know that there's some Hitman issues in there. That's all I know for sure. It's the only titles able to read. I have this box here literally. Like it's not, this isn't some type of trick. 
This isn't any type of hustle. Ugh, this is the long box. It is completely full of books. I'm going to start pulling these out and putting them on the board. These are going to be $2 a piece. I'm not going to stop with these. I'm just going to keep going around the board, pulling these out. If something doesn't sell, by the time I get around to the first part of the board, it comes down, another book goes up, I will not be going back and pulling books that I've pulled down. I don't have time. This is going to be kind of an undertaking right here. And it's, and it's an experiment. It's an experiment and awesomeness, and we're going to see. If you guys are willing to spend a couple bucks an issue, I'm willing to sit here and put out a ton of books. Who knows what I'm going to pull out? And as long as stuff is selling, it keeps rotating. And I, I, honestly, I honestly do not know what is in the box. So it could be anything I pull out, no matter what it is, no matter what it's worth, it's going to be $2. So hopefully I haven't screwed up and pulled like some thing with a bunch of Golden Age books in it. So here we go. The first book, Deity 2, Cat Sign, number one. That is a foil cover on that. That's $2. This is Cat's Eye issue number two. That's going to be $2. You are going to have to put number one or number two when you claim them. There's another Cat's Eye number one. I will not put out doubles. I'm not going to put out doubles of the same thing. Another double. Another double. Lots of doubles in this. Here we go. Azrael issue 81. Azrael agent of the bat. What makes Azrael tick? It's all chained up. It's $2. Eden's Trail, issue number five. It's from Marvel, but it looks like a Naruto kind of, but it's not. It's pretty interesting. Eden's Trail, issue number five, two dollars. Two dollars for that. Dennis gets the cat number one. Thank you, Dennis. This is Duel Masters, issue number three. Duel Masters three. This is definitely um, anime influence. Duel Masters is like Yu-Gi-Oh kind of. This guy's getting attacked by some type of dragon skeleton. Two bucks. This is Down, issue number three, written by Warren Ellis. Down number three for two dollars. Oh, well, this is one of those. Shouldn't be a two dollar book. This is The Dreaming, issue 55. Issue 55 of The Dreaming. Um, Neil Gaiman's The Dreaming. You know, the stuff he created with Sandman. There it is. The Dreaming number 55 from Vertigo for two bucks. There we go. Tosh got that one. This is Code Flesh, issue number four for two dollars. And this is Code Flesh, issue number one. I got number one and number four. I'm going to put both of them together. If you want them right now, you can get issue one and four together for $2. That's a dollar a book. It's a double. Double. This is R.A. Salvatore's Demon Wars, Eye for an Eye, issue number two. If you like D&D, this is for you. R.A. Salvatore's Demon Wars. It's from CrossGen. That's $2. John got the two code comics for 2 bucks. Thank you, John. I feel like, man, there's a lot of stuff in here that's like... Oh, here we go. Deathlock, issue number one. Deathlock number one for 2 bucks. There we go. Now I've got some movement in the box. Now I pulled the books out. I can actually dig around here a little bit. Another number one, another number one, another number one. Jeez, what's number one of the death lock? This is Go Boy 7, number two, do not pass go. Death lock for two to Dennis, that one. This is Go Boy 7, number two, for two bucks. What are these? That's the death lock issue two, my bad. That was death lock number two. $2. This is Go Girl issue number three for $2. 
I'm going to start pulling out of kind of the middle of this now because I feel like I'm just pulling a bunch of D's out, if that makes sense. Well, I think that maybe a lot of this is just D's. I don't know. Yeah, C's and D's, it seems like. This is Captain Victory, issue number seven. That's some Jack Kirby artwork right there. Captain Victory, number seven. That is two bucks. Take this down. This is Echo, issue number four. Echo number four for two dollars. Here we've got Jim Starlin's Cosmic Guard. Issue number four from Dynamite. That's two bucks. Take down the cat's eye number two. This is Dark Minds issue number three. Very much uh, Ghost in the Shell lock right there. Dark Minds number three for two dollars. I'm going to take down the Azrael, put up the Dark Minds for two. This is Esper's Halloween number one. This chick's hanging from a, a flag over a city. She is freaking out. It could be ESPers, but I think it's just Esper's. Esper's number one Halloween for $2. Taking down the Eden's Trail, putting out the Esper's number one. Again, this is a $2 sale. I'm just pulling books blind out of this long box. That I'm trying to maneuver. I got no room back here. Is it like the previous space we had? I literally have no room to do anything. Ugh. There we go. I got some stuff sorted right there. This is the Spectre issue number 19 for $2. Spectre 19 for two. Oh, well, here's one that shouldn't be $2. <laughs> this is Mark Miller's Nemesis issue number two. Looks like a first print for two bucks. Yeah, we're getting to some good stuff here. This is Kick-Ass issue number four, second printing variant for $2. So let's get the nemesis for two. This is Back to Brooklyn, issue number one. An awesome crime book by Jimmy Palmiotti. That is $2. This is FF, issue number two. And that is Dr. Doom on the front. Dr. Doom. There we go. FF number two. That is two bucks. This is Backlash and Spider-Man, issue number two. Wildstorm crossover with, uh, with Marvel. That is $2. $2 for that. This is Felon, issue number one by Greg Rucka. That's two bucks. Holy cow, this is one you're going to want. Big Blown Baby, number one, with uh, art very reminiscent of Ren and Stimpy. It is uh, two bucks for that. Baby toothbrush. Get it? Oh, Josh already missed it. Josh, we went ahead and made the announcement. This is Wetworks, issue number 10 for $2. Right now, I'm just pulling books out of a... Uh, Long box and putting them out for two dollars blind. So there's lots of stuff coming out that's not worth that's worth way more than two dollars. So uh, you want to get on this. This is Dolls issue number one from Image Comics. That is two dollars. Take on the Cosmic Guard. Put out the Dolls number one for two bucks.
Guys like Samurais, this is the path, the path issue 13 for two bucks. Yep, that's a Doom cover, Ed. This is uh, Fantastic Four, or it's FF Issue 2. FF Issue 2 for $2. Ed got the FF for 2 Good. This is Ghost, issue number 12. Ghost number 12 for $2. This is Hitman, issue 57 from DC for $2. This is Paradigm, issue number 10 from Image for 2 bucks. on the board right now are two dollars a piece like i said i was just going through a blind long box selling stuff out for two bucks a piece and uh, that's what i pulled blindly there's still an issue kick ass out there that's crazy assuming we have anybody who wants to buy dc metal you want anybody want to buy a whole lot of other so, all right, I'm going to start pulling these down. All right. Yep, we'll be going live at midnight with all the DC metal, all the variants, and of course all the DC titles for this week as well. So you can get to jump on them before the uh, new release day. Um, uh, no, that's the first thing I've seen from you, John. Yeah, or sooner. Or sooner. This is the uh, Wolverine Volume 3, Issue Number 3. Uh, this is from 2003. It's a 9.4 Wolverine Stan Lee Signature for $275. $275 for the Stan Lee Signed Slab. It is a CGC Signature Series. Also, it does have its own Certificate of Authenticity as well from Celebrity Authentics. Two seventy five for this. All right, guys, let me know what you're looking for in the feed because obviously I'm not putting it out. Like, I mean, it's kind of frustrating, to be quite honest. Like, it's so limited, the stuff that you guys are after, apparently. I just, I'm just not putting it up, I guess. 
I feel like I've been putting out a lot of variety for really cheap to offset things, but this nobody's interested. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what I'm doing wrong here, folks. I might just have to quit. Just be done. Just walk out the door. Screw it. Thoughts crossed my mind twice today already. I don't want to do that, though. This is Transformers Regeneration 1, issue number 91. That is a Samurai Transformer cutting Cybertron in half. That's going to be $3. This is the Peter Parker Spectacular Spider-Man Annual. It is $3 for that. This is also $3. This is 10th Muse, issue number one from Image Comics. That is Rena Marrow on the front, also known as Sable from the WWE. There she is. Uh... She's got the lightning bolt on her face, and there's a picture of her in the comic. It is $3 for that issue. Well, tomorrow, Jim will be here. He'll be here in the morning. And uh, I'm going to make him test feed this thing until you guys say that it's not messing up on you. Because we're hardwired in, but we didn't have these problems at the other store. I mean, a couple Michelle Docker, there were a couple people who did have feed problems pretty regularly. But for the most part, nobody did. And now it seems like a lot of people are having the same type of problems. And there could be because of Facebook update, or it could be because some setting is off. On our end, even though I went through and checked the settings myself, and it seems like there's like the way it's supposed to be, the frame rates, I even dropped them down lower. I don't know. So it's tough to say. This is Warlock issue number two Captain Marvel back from the dead. We we're just talking about that. That's Captain Marvel's corpse right there. It's $3. Warlock issue number two. Jason gets the uh, Muse for three. Uh, that is this one. There we go. Thank you, Jason. This is Ravage 2099. Ravage 29, that's uh, Brock Lesnar's wife. Huh. In real life, she is now, yeah. Really? Uh, she's like she's like literally twice his age. Yep. She was Sable in WWE, like in the Attitude Era. And then she was in a comic book, and that was it. But, yeah, she's married to Brock Lesnar. Uh, this is Ravage 2099, issue number one. That is a gold foil cover there for Ravage. Four bucks. Read the adventures of a hobo in the future as he brings revolution to the 2099 world. That's literally the story, to my knowledge, that I remember. I read it when it was out, and I'm thinking that's pretty much what it is. Like, he has, I think, a trash can shield. I kid you not. All right, we got somebody on the feed that likes Storm, am I right? Is it Philip? Philip likes Storm. We got a Storm comic right here. Of course, I imagine being a big Storm fan, probably going to already have it. But I'm going to put it out for cheap regardless. This is Aurora Before the Storm. It is issue number three for $4. All right, take it easy, Ed. Have a good one, man. That's a lot of lag. <laughs> this is a cool one. This is Aquaman issue 72, King of the Saurian Seas. And there is Aquaman and the Warlord, and they are surrounded by dinosaurs. Well, like Loch Ness monster-style dinosaurs. Diplodocus, is that what they were called? Um, Aquaman 72 from October of 2000. That is four bucks.
This is Captain Marvel issue number 14. This is $3. $3 for Captain Marvel issue 14. This is Infinity War issue number three, Death in a Distant Dimension. That is five dollars. That issue Infinity War. This is an older issue of Guardians of the Galaxy. Guardi Marvel presents Guardians of the Galaxy. Concluding the origin of Starhawk, Death Bird Rising. And there's Yondu there, who, of course, uh, was in Guardians of the Galaxy 2 a ton. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, issue 10, 30 cent cover. A little rough, 1977. Not too rough, three bucks. Three dollars for that, Marvel Comics Presents. And this is also $3. This is Fraction, issue number one. Fraction number one uh, from the DC Focus line, which is uh, not really like Vertigo, but kind of. Uh, they, they're constantly doing Like They have the Young Animals imprint now. DC Focus does another uh, DC imprint. And uh, he's being down there. There's a little robot. It's $3. $3 for that. It's kind of a sci-fi imprint, I guess you might say. Appreciate you about that awesome Wolverine. Billy Bob, that Wolverine is incredibly awesome. That Wolverine issue three is volume three of Wolverine with an awesome cover by Saad Ribic. I'll show it to you up close on the camera. It's got the painted cover with the Saad Ribic right here, that Wolverine. Sitting on that motorcycle, looking awesome. Of course, here, uh, take the price off. You can see the Welcome to Westfall sign there. There we go. Uh, it is signed by Stan Lee. Stan the Man Lee right there. 9.4. It is a CGC certified book. Not only that, it is also Celebrity Authentic Signature Edition, and it has its own certificate of authenticity for that as well. It is inside their bag and board. It is two seventy five, but if you wanted to buy it right now, Billy Bob, I'd sell it to you for two hundred and fifty dollars. Two fifty is as low as I'm allowed to possibly go on that. In fact, I don't even want to go to two fifty, but I'm going to do it for two fifty. So what are you going to do? Two fifty for the Wolverine Stanley signed slab. Mm, I don't know what that thing is that Kevin put up. Uh, we don't have it, Kevin. We don't have any. We we don't have any uh, exclusive comic store posters. Everyone we get, I generally put on the sale and sell it. And we haven't gotten any of the uh, action figure ones for the animated series. No, they never sent that to us. We didn't get it. Unless it's something that's still getting shipped randomly, we don't have it. But if we have it, I guarantee you, I guarantee you, I will sell it on the sale. 
but we don't have it because I sell every poster we get in because we don't hang them on anything really, and we only sell un we don't sell um rolled posters or folded posters in the store. We only sell flat posters that are already kind of like on a backing. So when we get the folded posters, I just bring them in here and sell the retail posters. So if we get it, man, you'll get it. Do it, Billy Bob. To be quite honest, we kind of need the sales today. It'd really be doing us a solid. 250 for the Wolverine. And, hey, you're getting a deal. This is the Batman 357. For you guys who have been on the fence on this, this is the Batman 357. This is the first appearance of Jason Todd. It is also the first appearance of Killer Croc. It is $110, 110 bucks for Batman 357. Plus, Billy, there's a chance that Josh New is just waiting in the wings. So you're going to grab it before he does. I'm just saying. I'm not putting any pressure on either of you. I'm just saying. Anybody could buy it at any moment. It has happened in the past. People have missed out on Stan Lee slabs in the past. That's true. And pay for the autograph. Yeah. That's true. All right, guys, we got a number of stuff on the board. Oh, you remember, we do have this. Oh, this massive random bundle for $35. Look at that, $35 for this massive random bundle. This was an entire board of the show right here. You know what? I'm going to mark that down. $30. $30 is the new price. For this random board bundle. This was all the comics on a board, including some lots, all together right here for 30 bucks. All taped up, all ready to go. It's pretty heavy. It's a lot of comics. And again, at midnight, we will be having the Dark Knight Metal special release party event here. And uh, we'll have... The regular Dark Knight Metal, we well, I only have so many issues to sell, so you're going to get out here and claim them when you can, as many as you can, as quick as you can. We'll also have a number of the Dark Knight Metal variants, including the Midnight Party variants and the one-per-store Midnight Party black and white variant. We'll have that available as well, plus some other variants that are uh, out for the issue. Um, huh? All right, Jason gets the bundle. Jason gets the bundle for 30. Thank you, Jason. Sorry, Jeffrey. Um, yeah, the, your I'll take the bundle came in after Jason on ours. Also, you do have to put the price of the item in your claim. So you have to put bundle for 30 or I want the $30 bundle. You have to put the item and the price. Because like in your uh, first comment, I don't know if you were trying to claim it in your first comment where you put bundle. Um, but that's just, we have a lot of back and forth talk on here. And it's nothing, it's just kind of the way we have, that's why we have to do it. Because we have so many guys talking about just random stuff that um, we have to put the name of the item and the price. The only way we know it's really a claim. Sorry, man. Appreciate the buy, Jason. That is awesome. Um, but you know what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Got ten books here. They're all well over that amount because most of these are four or five dollar books. We got some three dollar books as well. But hey, what I'm saying is you're probably going to get a chance to claim another bundle here in just a sec. This board, I'm going to pull it down as well. 
We're going to put this one out for even cheaper. Even cheaper. This board averaged out at about 50 bucks. This one. Is going to be $18. $18 bucks for the random board bundle that just came off the board right now. $18 for all of those titles. Priced alone. They were priced low anyway, and they were still priced to be about $45. Bucks. So you get them for even less than that. $18. You can claim that bundle as well. Yinka. Yinka gets that one for $18. Thank you, Yinka. This is a Preacher run right here. This is Preacher 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. This is issue 20 through 25 of Preacher. And if you're buying them all, you're going to get them lower than I would have priced them at individually. You get Preacher 20 through 25 for $29, $29 for that lot right there. This is a lot we put out earlier today for a little bit, but it's towards the end of the first sale, so don't really count it as happening. This is the Ultimate Nightmare set. It's Ultimate Nightmare 1 through 5, which includes the X-Men and the Ultimate Avengers uh, teaming up and throwing down on each other at the same time. Uh, this issue 1 through 5 is supposed to be $15. I got it right now for $9. $9, and that's the complete 1 through 5 set. This cover is Wolverine battling Captain America, and there are the Ultimates there. It's $9. John got the Nightmare for Nine. That is a good purchase, man. That's a good storyline. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> you think you'd learn it by now. This is the sensational Spider-Man Issue number nine, Sensational Spider-Man number nine, After Onslaught Comes the Swarm. That is a Mike Waringo cover. I think he does the interior as well. Swarm is made up of bees. That's right. Sentient bees look like a person, put on a purple cape, and fight Spider-Man. I like their style. Sensational Spider-Man number nine, near mint for $5. I'm going to put that right there beside of that one. I think I can. I can. Scale towards black magic. You will hurt yourself. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. That guy who does it is ancient. Like he's like late seventies. Yeah. And he's hilarious. And he'll he'll just do the voice like anytime he'll just do the voice. <laughs> <laughs> this is X-Force and Cable. This is the 96 X-Force and Cable Annual. This is going to be $6. Giant-sized, 64 pages, face-to-face -face against the Shi'ar Empire. Six bucks for that.
This is the Infinity Crusade. I've got three issues of the Infinity Crusade here. I've sold some issues yesterday. I think a few of you guys probably have a number one headed your way in lots or you've uh, where you've bought, you know, a good amount of stuff. Well, I'm going to bag and board these. I'm going to put these out as a, as a lot. I don't know if I have any more in the box or not, but I'll check here shortly. Just like New 52, number 12. Uh, it's nothing I can... Nothing in front of me, Philip. This is Infinity Crusade number two, three, and five. Two, three, and five. You get a three comic lot of these. Seven dollars. Seven dollars gets you three Infinity Crusade issues near mint. Never read part of that storyline that takes place after the Infinity Gauntlet. Infinity Crusade. Two, three, and five for seven dollars. But this went out for six. This is Web of Spider-Man, issue number 11. Issue 11 of Web of Spider-Man. There's Spidey in the symbiote suit, swinging in at nighttime. You don't see Spider-Man a lot at night on these covers. He's generally kind of a daytime hero. Six bucks. Web of Spider-Man, number 11, from 1985. Very fine plus to near mint condition. This is an older issue of Captain Marvel, Marvel's space-born superhero. The new Captain Marvel is issue 54. It is a 35-cent cover. It's from 1977. Um, the most unstoppable super foe of all is back, Nitro, the Exploding Man. This is $4. It does have some rough spots on it. It's only 4 bucks. But uh, Nitro is the guy who blew up the school in uh, Civil War, which caused the entire mutant registration, or not mutant registration, but superhero registration act. Uh, four bucks for that. More four to Jason. Thank you, Jason. This is G.I. Joe Special Missions issue number three. Got the Baroness on the front. She's got her guns cocked. She's got lots of guns pointed at her. G.I. Joe Special Missions, number three from IDW. Near Mint, never read. That's $3. Kevin got the G.I. Joe for three. Thank you, Kevin. This is Grim Fairy Tales Madness of Wonderland, issue number four for three dollars, and that is the Mad Hatter up against a cop car, uh, surrounded by dead police. Three dollars for that Grim Fairy Tales Madness of Wonderland. This is G.I. Joe, a real American hero, issue number 18. That's a Dan Brereton painted cover with the Baroness and Destro on the front. Three bucks for that.
This is Poison Elves. We got Poison Elves here. Very cool cover on that, as you can see. But let's face it, only you guys know a lot about the Poison Elves. GFT for three to Jason. That one there, yep. Thank you, Jason. This is Poison Elves. That is going to be $2. $2 for Poison Elves. This is Grim Fairy Tales Realm Knights, issue number four, for $3. Now, 1027, we're about only a half hour away. Um, I don't really have that many Joe comics. Otherwise, I would. If I had a bunch, man, I'd, uh, I'd hook you up in a heartbeat. That's the only other issue I've got right now, as far as I know. This is Battlestar Galactica, issue number one. That is an Alex Ross painted cover, Battlestar Galactica number one, for $5. Kevin got that G.I. Joe for three. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I'd say if I had a bunch more, man, I'd gladly uh, bundle them up. Uh, this is Preacher 20 through 25. The same ones I had earlier. That's a bundle for $29. This is Thunderbolts. This is the red team. It's the team of Elektra, Red Hulk, Agent Venom, Punisher, Deadpool, uh, the leader, probably more. Uh, this is Thunderbolts issue number nine. That's Agent Venom and Deadpool taking on uh, the Crimson Dynamo. That is $3 for that issue of Thunderbolts. This is He-Man and the Masters of the Universe, issue number two, for three dollars. Issue two for three bucks. There we go. And the board is full of stuff right now. Some pretty good stuff, I gotta say, up on the board. John got the He Man for three. There it is. Okay. Yep. Mm -mm -mm. Thank you, John. Found something else to put out in that spot. This is Vampirella Strikes, issue number four. This is the photo model cover variant of the issue. Vampirella Strikes, issue four, that is $4.
now it's the new He-Man movie. Uh, it's still one of those things. I'll believe it when I see it, when I see a trailer. I feel like the new He-Man movie's been in limbo so much and constantly just like, oh, we're getting started on it now and all this and different directors and actors attached. Now it's just like, when I see a trailer, I'll believe it's coming out. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> it's old. Well, it was super old by that point. Like, it was. Well, even the people, like, okay, I'll say it's older than you. But even he wanted it. He was like, he was like, just start out with the Resurrection Day because he played the Rocky Rock. <laughs> he played the Rocky Rock TV show. All right, this is Constantine issue number two from the New 52, Dead in the Streets. And he is, in fact, dead in the streets, cover as advertised. I'm going to take down the Preacher for 29 and we're going to put out the Constantine for $4. We got uh, we got less than thirty minutes left on the feed right now. Less than thirty minutes to go on today. If there's any characters you guys are after, you can let me know. I can do what I can do, but I, there's not a whole lot I can really do much with as far as hunting stuff down. But um, I don't know. There's not really been anything that's kind of taken off today, so it's tough to really gauge. You know, like Spider Man's not so good. Batman didn't sell well for us. Nothing really, uh, none of the regulars ain't really, not really taken off as far as uh, things go. So let me know kind of what you're after, and I can see what I can do, but uh, there's not a lot of guarantees this late in the game or early in the game. It's just, where we moved everything in, man, it's just kind of in disarray at the moment. But I'll do what I can for it. Mm-mm. -mm. All right, so that's right. Tonight I'll make the announcement again. Tonight at midnight, we will be doing a midnight release party for DC Metal. And you get all of the uh, DC Metal assortment. You can handle all the different uh, variants we have. There are a couple we did not get. That's the way it goes. Uh, the one with the steampunk chicks on the front, they goes for like 100 bucks. We don't have it. We don't have it. But we do have the Midnight Release exclusive variant. We have a few of those. And we have the one per store Midnight Party variant, which is a black and white version of that one with the Batman. He's got the axes and stuff. It's it's pretty awesome. Um, also, just the regular metal itself is cool. It's got the foil cover. It looks like the uh, diamond plate on the logo. Scott Snyder and uh, Greg Capullo back on that. Oh, yeah. And uh, also, we're able to sell... All of the DC titles, we'll sell all the DC titles that come out tomorrow, tonight at midnight. So if you are into Batman, if you're into Wonder Woman, uh, Justice League, Superman, Super Sons, um, Batwoman, I don't know, man, there's more. I just can't remember all the DC titles that come out. But uh, there's a lot of them. But we'll be able to have them up on the sale available for you to purchase. And then, of course, tomorrow at noon, we'll have the regular new comic book day sale, which will include some DC stuff. So if something happens and you can't get on there tonight, you can still pick it up tomorrow. However, that DC Metal stuff, mm, I feel like it's going to be gone. So uh, get ready for that. Also, uh, at 11 o'clock, there will be a post going live on our Facebook page. That will be promoting the Midnight Sale. If you would, please share that post out onto your pages. It's not there now, but when it's up there at 11, if you would, share it out. Get the word out. Let everybody know that we're going to be live at midnight, and we're going to be selling DC Metal and the other DC titles. And uh, you get a jump start on New Comic Day tonight. All right, I'm going to show this off. This is a brand-new tie-dyed shirt created by Tosh. Uh, when did you do this one, like yesterday or the day before? Yeah, pretty much yesterday. Yeah, day before yesterday. 
Check this thing out. Spider pattern on this. It's a large on a large Gildan t-shirt. Fairly soft material, especially after you wash it. It's going to fit mighty nice. Very cool spider pattern on this. Lots of uh, blues and purples and stuff. Not really a superhero specific. I guess it'd be like a Spider-Man 2099 one, sort of. But it is awesome. Or it could be Skeletor's chest. It's either one, but it is cool. Uh, it is a cool... Uh, it is, it is a cool uh, tie-dye shirt. These are one-of-a-kind. Tosh actually makes these. She also makes money off these. If you buy these, uh, you're giving her money as well. $15 a piece on these shirts. This is a large. Somebody should buy it. Really, somebody. If you wear a large T-shirt or you know somebody who wears a large T-shirt or you think you might encounter someone down the line in civilization that might wear a large T-shirt that would like a T-shirt, you should buy this thing for $15. Because, because Yakov, you're not gonna buy him anyway. <laughs> you can get on here and hang out, and that's fine. Well, Justin, you just gotta get on first, man. You get on first, you share it out. You get a copy. We'll make sure you get a copy. All right, it's been about four minutes, and all this stuff is just set here. Nobody's buying anything on this. So uh, I guess we're just going to pull all these down. I don't know. Maybe we should just end the sale early. Nothing's happening. Yeah, that's true. And I got to look up uh, I gotta look up variant prices anyway. So Ben already made the post. Ben already made the post. It's just scheduled. It's going to go live at 11. Because um, I didn't plan on making the announcement till 11. First of what? DC Metal is a, uh, a brand new event. It's a brand new event. Issue number one is out uh, today, or well, tonight, midnight. Um, uh, it's going to be a six part monthly event. There's going to be tie-ins to it through Batman. It's awesome, man. Uh, I don't know if you've, I even be out being familiar with, with DC. I mean, surely, you know, like the new 52 Batman, which is like the best Batman with all the court of owls, all that stuff, the in-game Joker, when he has face cut off, all that came from the creative team of Scott Snyder and Greg Capullo. Well, they are the team on DC Metal. And while Marvel is going to do Legacy so they can quit doing events at all, that's great for Marvel because they've done too many events and a lot of those haven't been good. This DC Metal thing, events are fine when they're awesome. DC Metal is going to be amazing. And we're going to have exclusive variants that are only available for stores having a midnight release. Also, we're going to have one per store variant that's only available for stores that have midnight releases. So uh, that's going to be the high dollar variant, I'd imagine. Plus, we're going to be allowed to sell all the DC titles that come out. Uh, but DC Metal is going to be great. Basically, think of it like, um, basically, we open a door to a dark dimension, and there's all the evil, evil versions of ourselves, but not like evil like the Injustice Gang, like evil like Event Horizon Evil. And then they just show up and take over. That's DC Metal. And it's going to be badass. And um, all these different dark versions of Batman are going to be showing up. One of them, it looks like Doomsday or uh, Solomon Grundy is Batman. Uh, one is the Flash is Batman. And, like, his eyes are, like, sewn weird. Like, there's a – it's just – it's awesome. I, I can't – it's just – it's awesome. Trust me. You're going to want to read it. Everybody's going to want to read it. Plus, it has a cool foil cover. Plus, I actually don't know cover price, so I can't tell you how much it's going to cost. But uh, I wouldn't imagine it'd be over five or six bucks. Probably five bucks would be my guess on it. But um, maybe less. Maybe less. But it's going to be really cool. The Jim Lee Wonder Woman medal variant, we did get a few of those. We will have those available. I can't claim it now. And I don't even know what the price is going to be anyway. So I'll have those priced and ready. As soon as we go live, you're going to want to claim them. 
Yeah, yeah, the nth metal, that's why Hawkman's going to play a big part in it. It's just going to take time. I, I could see the entire, basically, six issues leading to where Hawkman is a bigger player in the DC Universe overall, which he hasn't been for years. So that'd be cool. But I know they explain the nth metal is the metal that's in the uh, stuff that basically resurrected Batman and Joker during Endgame. So it's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, the Joker Batman, the uh, the man who laughs. It's a one shot. I think that's coming out as part of it uh, in the next the next few months. Man, there's gonna be a lot of really cool uh, one shots. Uh, no, it's not the sketch Wonder Woman. It's the a regular Wonder Woman. I don't think we got the sketch one. I don't know. Honestly, I was sorting comics earlier today. I didn't get a chance to check through all of them. So that's what I'm gonna be doing uh, between shows. But like I say, we're going to have a post going up at 11. So if you could, share it out for us. Get it out there. Get everybody ready. So that way, at midnight, we can sell all kinds of stuff. Is really nobody going to buy that Stan Lee slabbed uh, Wolverine? I'm amazed. Generally, a Stan Lee signed slab doesn't last more than a day on the show. All right. That's all of these. Let me pull this off. Two, 26, 28, 33, 37, 42, 45. This is $45 worth of comics. Really more than $45 worth of comics because I priced this stuff really, really low. 45 bucks worth of comics right here on the board. Tape stuck on my hands. Ridiculous. All right. Slow me down. Slow down the whole process. All right. $45 worth of comics. This is a $22 random board bundle. All those comics on the board, 22 bucks. That is a brick of books for $22 you can claim right now. Yeah, that will work out for you, Yinka. <laughs> Bundle for 22 to Jeffrey. There you go. That's how you do a claim. All right. $22 for that. I appreciate that, man. It is 1044. 1044. About 15 minutes left on the feed as is. Kind of need to make some sales. Are any of you guys interested in some slabs for some pretty low prices? Would you be interested in that? Let me know in the comments. Like, no, just sit there and go, ah, I'm not. Like, type in. No, that's completely fine. Let me know. Are you interested in some cheap slabs, some cheap CGC books? Let me know in the feed, and I may put some up for you. What's up, Wally? How's it going, man? All right. This is Vampires the Eternal from Grim Fairy Tales. This is issue number two. That's the uh, Van Helsing version for Grim Fairy Tales on the front of that. We're going to put this up for $3. $3. That was it, Justin. That was number one. Probably never find any ever again. But I found that one, and it sold quick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Eric. Would anybody be interested in a Grim Fairy Tales bundle? I think I have enough here that I could do a cheap bundle for them. I don't know, though. Let me know in the feed if you want a Grim Fairy Tales bundle. I might be able to hook you up as well.
This is Batman in Detective Comics. Detective Comics issue 617. And that is the Joker there. And Batman with all kinds of occult mumbo jumbo in his cape. $4. $4 for Detective Comics 617 featuring the Joker. This is Captain America and the Falcon, issue 195. It's a 25 cent cover. It can happen here, the savage world of 1984. And they're getting batons tossed at them by these guys. That is a Jack Kirby cover. There's a noose up here in the corner. There's a weird stuff going on. Captain America and the Falcon, 195. That's $5. This is the Evil Ernie issue six. His hair's on fire. So that's something. He's all burning up there. $3 for Evil Ernie issue six. Put this thing back out because it's freaking awesome. This is the Amazing Spider-Man 43, issue 43. That is a 12-cent cover. It's 170 bucks. This is the origin of Rhino and, of course, the very first full appearance of Mary Jane Watson. It's a, a 4.5 PGX Spider-Man 43 for 170 bucks. This is The Amazing Spider-Man, number 184. Number 184 of The Amazing Spider-Man. It is a PGX 8.0 slab book. It is $74. It is the first appearance of the White Dragon. So they're out there beside the other Amazing... This is the new Suicide Squad issue at number one. New Suicide Squad number one from the new 52. And uh, that is Deathstroke, Joker's daughter, and Black Mana on the front. And they have Harley Quinn, Amanda Waller, and Deadshot in chains. It is a 9.0 from CBCS. It is $45. $45 for that. This is The Walking Dead Survivor's Guide. It's issue number one. It is a 9.0, 9.0 Walking Dead Survivor's Guide. Uh, there on the back, it does have a wraparound cover. There's Rick and some zombies on the back. It is $69 for that one. All right, take it easy, Yekov.
And this is the Amazing Spider-Man number 146. Early Amazing Spider-Man. However, it does have a uh, piece, not really torn off. It's just like scratched over the 25 cent cover. It's got some damage to it. It's got some stuff. Uh, we're going to see if we can get it first. Amazing Spider-Man 146 for $4. $4 for that issue of the Amazing Spider-Man. Wally got it for four bucks. This is a really cool issue of Peter Parker, the Spectacular Spider Man. It's issue number 78. We're going to sell it for three bucks. Peter Parker, Spectacular Spider Man, 78, 60 cent cover. That's $3. And that is Dr. Octopus there, the long goodbye. And uh, Peter's walking into his chest. It's pretty creepy. Three bucks for that issue of Peter Parker's Back there, Spider-Man. Any of the Voltron comics? That was the only other one I had. Detective number. Um, 617, Russell. 617 on the Detective Comics. Mm -hmm. This is Harley Quinn, issue 37. Harley Quinn, issue 37, from her original run in 2003. Six dollars. Six dollars for that Harley Quinn issue. It's 10.54. We are down to six minutes left on the feed. So, if any of you guys want to buy anything, including the uh, first appearance of Jason Todd and the Killer Croc in Batman number 357 in this nice, fine, plus condition issue in a top loader for $110, that now would be the time to speak up on that. Uh, also, of course, we do have the uh, Stanley autographed Wolverine volume three, number three for $275, but I'll sell it to you for $250 if you put it in there right now. Spectacular for three to Josh. Thank you, Josh. See that Batman real quick. Who are we talking about? The Detective Comics? Guess so. Something with Batman on it, right? Oh, no, no. He will see that. The big comic. Hang on. Yeah, yeah. I literally just talk about it and then forget it exists immediately after putting it down. This is the Batman issue number 357. This is the one that uh, we actually sold to a guy when we had the massive... Uh, Jason Todd collection stuff we were selling that one night and uh, he claimed it never paid for it so put it back out along with something else that he claimed earlier we already sold through this is the first killer croc first Jason Todd uh, 110 bucks it's really good price as you can see I mean Wally got the Batman for 110 thank you Wally that is awesome brother we appreciate that very much I think you just wanted to see the Batman for 110. I think you just wanted to see the Batman for 110, not claim the Batman. Tosh got really excited. Tosh got really excited.
All right, it is 1057. We're going to wrap things up, come back at midnight for the DC Metal Midnight release. Um, it includes all DC Metal, all the variants that we've got available, along with all of the DC titles that come out tomorrow. We'll be selling tonight, so you guys can check out all of that stuff. Uh, there will be no Marvel sold, no image. We're not allowed to sell anything else that comes out tomorrow except for DC Metal and the DC titles. That is completely it. So that's the way it goes. All right, guys. We will see you in about an hour. Uh, take it easy.